Hey, kneel down and raise your hands up. Raise your hands up. Close your eyes and make sure your hands don't come down. Stupid girl. This month. Madam. Take the car to the car wash. Next time you dare not wear my clothes. Madame, go go here. Eh? My God, look at the punishment. Look at the way you just need them. Look at any eh, year. You don't know say whenever he they pass through punishment, he, 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 he they touch me for so. I take God beg you. I take God beg you even take you back God. Make you know where that Madame Claude again. Make you know cause trouble. Look at, eh? Okay, yes. Okay, please, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. But just that I, I am, I am feeling your body. You don't know say your pain is my pain. I, I feel that's more of a weakness. I'm just saying, serve your punishment. She will be Don't worry, very very soon you stand up. Thank God, this one no day. No do that. My name is Desmond, and yours? Rosalind. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful name, I must say. And um, I must say you're very lucky to have a man like me. How do you mean? Yeah, you're very lucky to have a man like me because I'm a man of class. You know, quite classy. Yeah, actually, I'm very, very classy. And my friends calls me Mr. General. Yeah, Mr. Generous, because I'm, I'm generous. And um, if you don't mind, I would actually like us to stop by somewhere there and have a drink what do you say okay no problem what You're do you do for a living oh actually you can see i'm a pilot and i'm just coming back from work that's nice you look good you look good thank you, you know, i like babes like you thank you <laughs> oh what a hectic day Sir, please, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry for my actions the other day. I'm sorry. I know you and Madame are angry with me. Please forgive me. Oh, help me beg Madame too. Please, sir. Yes, Jemma. You're right, that we're very, very angry with you. Yes, we are. What you did was a gross disrespect of us. It is the height of disrespect. We deserve absolute respect from you, Chama. However, I accept your apology. But let it not repeat itself again. You will need to go also tender a sincere apology to Madame. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Unimaginable things. Please forgive me, ma. That means you are possessed. Possessed? I, I don't know if I'm possessed. But please, please, I'm sincerely sorry. You really, really hurt me. Firstly, I can't wear those clothes again. I don't share my clothes with anyone. And those are one of my favorite outfits. 
Well, my dad pleaded on your behalf. I really felt bad. I know you are the one I love most. It's fine. I'm forgiving you. Stand up. Thank you. Just stand up. Hmm? Get up. Go back to your beauty. Anyways, where is uh, Kate? She is washing. Call her for me. Thank you. <laughs> You know that I love your daughter passionately. You were even confessing then. Now, thank you, Eka. Just because of that, I don't get credit. You will not believe Eka. I went to borrow car. I borrow. I went to borrow to call Eka. Eka was insisting that, hey, you don't love me. Eka, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yes? Eka, you should try to talk. Eka, let me call you back. Let me call you back, Eka. Why knocking the gate now? Come, Eki. Pass, go, you think I don't get I? You know, you, you think I don't have initiative. Is that what you, you, you think? Every day by day, look at Kula. If they carry Kula, you want to finish the food where there is building, you know they go anywhere. Today, remember? Okay, Cancel. Cassie, I don't have your strength this afternoon. Please open this gate, let me pass now. I should do what? You want to drag the gate, we want to do garagara. Let me tell you this now, my duty post. This is my position. This is my working. No, take my work. Please make a note and bundle you. Uh, I, I take my basi. Beg you so. Just carry the cooler. Make a note. I am, I am. You know, say, I, I know they like it on temper. When sun never shine. If my temper come now, now when sun come, now it go cool down. So you, 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 are, you are not going anywhere. Period. 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 She be my person. Oh, yeah, see. Just open it for me. When I come back. I will tell you everything. I will tell you where the carry and go. Yeah. Okay. Forget about person. Forget about person or whatever. But let me tell you. When the time go come, they no re tell him person. But they they no go tell you. The day we are go catch you red handed. You go carry the consequences upon your head again. Eh, I go carry him. No problem. Oga no go catch you. You go carry him. I go carry him. Open gate. Your wallet too much. Now you no get problem. You just they carry food for Kuna, they go give, even the boy away, they go give that food. That boy, if you get someone where in love, you they love someone. Uh, someone where they love someone else. But then these girls, you don't, you don't have orientation. You know, me, we, we, they here. Are we not handsome enough? You know if it. Look, my spiritual eyes, this is how they trip for, trip for you, God forbid. I will let trip for a person where carry cowbell factory. This one, uh, cowbell. This one, uh, three crowns. He and me. If this one carry this kind of thing, give Pekin. Pekin no go dead die. Pekin go drink our way today, tomorrow go drink three crowns. Next tomorrow, it's even gone bitter. Hello, pretty. Hello, handsome. Do you know you're such a beautiful damsel? Thank you. You know you're the most gorgeous I've seen in a while. Really? Well, baby, as you can see, <laughs> my name is Pilot Desmond. Actually, I work with the Safe Airlines. Wow. And baby, as I'm talking to you, I've made money. Like real money. You know, if you walk down the street, you see a three story building, well built and furnished. Mm -hmm. This is just one of my buildings in Lagos. Are you serious? Well, baby, actually, I've been looking for, you know, cute and pretty damsels like you to spend my money on because I've really made money, a whole lot of money. So, what are we then still doing here? You know what? We'll just go down the street right now. We'll look for any automobile. You point any car of your choice and it's all yours. Desmond? Desmond! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I've been waiting for you at home to come take me to a business meeting. And you are here talking to a lady. Desmond! Is that how you waste the money I pay you? Look, give me my key. Give, give, give me the key. Look at you! And look at you! Hi, Mr. Carlson. So you're just a common driver and here you are washing down. Are you serious? My job is at stake. Oh. And I've been here wasting my whole day. Oh. 
Stop there. Who was the girl I saw you with? Um, so she's actually the daughter to my father. Oh, shut up. Who took the money I put in the pigeonhole? Sir, the money you kept. The sir. Oh, shut up. The other day, I asked you to buy full tank. And you bought half tank and swindled the rest of money. So, these are the girls that milk you dry. Despond. Wow. A total failure. Sorry, sir. My protector, please deliver me from every strange spirit that visits me. Make me useful and obedient to those you have placed above me. Help me stay away from whatever that offends them. Take away every form of pride and greed from me so I can carry out my duties with love, joy and happiness. Accepting whatever future brings in good faith. Thank you, Lord. My Jesus name I pray. What is your name? Um, Mr. Fred, sir. You are a driver with a good experience. Yes, sir. Good. But do you have experience in hunting, culture, uh, nurturing of plants and flowers? Because uh, that will be part of your work condition. Um, I'll try some. Good. Consider the job yours. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, the utility staff will take you around the compound and show you what to do with your job starts tomorrow. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, I'll be by the compound.
Nice. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my dear. Um, are you going out? Of, of course, you cannot see that I am going out. Uh, sir, the thing is, I don't feel right about you going out. I feel something is going to happen. I perceive danger. I don't know if you can maybe stay home then go out any other day, but not today. I'll be fine, Shoma. Besides, I have a lot of important things to attend to in the office today. But sir, your life is more important. I'll be alright. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sir, I think whatever it is Joma is talking about is serious. Why not give it attention? What is Joma talking about? Like, you're not going out today. Um, but I have very important uh, business to attend to today. But, sir, no business is worth more than your life. It's your life we're talking about. What is talking about my life? I think it's okay. Um, well, I'll take that. Now, you take this to Murphy. Okay. Hmm? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. um, he knows what to do. All right. All right. I'll do just. Hello, Murphy. Uh, good morning, good morning. Um, the driver, Fred, is bringing it to you. I may not be able to come out uh, because of uns unforeseen circumstances. So you go to Chief and get the delivery, okay? All right. Be careful. Okay. I've been thinking that yesterday I've been buying this bag. Eh? Maybe yesterday I buy battery, I they tried to tune in him. I have tried to help within the album for a while, but I, I can't hear. I want to. I have a simple like, even like, no, they, how, do I, how do I listen to current affairs? How do I listen? Yes? Guess what? What? You see that, that your man? She has so much guts. Do you know she stopped Oga from going out? You see what I mean? Joma stopped Oga from going out. Are you trying to tell me that Oga wants to come out? Joma can say, hey, Oga, come back here. Come sit down. What do you think you try to tell her? That's not like that. I, I really don't know how she did it. Mm -hmm. The only thing I know is that Oga was ready to go out this morning. She walked up to him and told him some funny stories. If I knew it, Oga just walked back and relaxed. Just like that. I'm telling you, similar to the same thing she did the other day when uh, Madame was ready to go for an occasion. She had the girls to tell Madame not to eat anything at the occasion. Mother, who was mom, Bazi? She did that. That girl get girls. That girl, where you see she get liver, she get kidney, she get. Can you imagine? That's some girl. You wear big like you know, people even open your mouth. Talk to. Talk, 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 talk. You people are talking about me. Be very careful because the walls are here. Who they talk about you? Who they talk about this one? But we, 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 do, 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 we, do we talk about this one? Or you just from inside house, you, your mouth they scratch you, you want to blow, blow with you? And you think I don't know? Just be careful before you receive slap from an unseen hand.
did she know we are talking about? Can you imagine that one? Now, now what did they, now what did I just did here? surprise. How she didn't know? I told you there is something about that girl. This one now, Yen Yaros matter. It, Spiritual it slap. is Yen Yaros. How she didn't yes. know? This one means everything. No, we'll be talking in secret for this company. But everything now, now, code it, code it. Hi! She be, you don't see her. Spiritual ah. slap. Spiritual I think I'll make you no condemn me this kind of thing again. I don't want to involve slap. In case you think want to backfire, make it backfire only you. Hi! Spiritual slap. You know where I when when I heard about spiritual slap last, now one half is from my village, we've been the you or tomorrow. You know, give person person just they get spiritual slap, it be like baptismal class. You don't see where slap, they shower like rain. I don't want to take that. No bring a later news, come, 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 wait, we can listen to all wrong FM. All wrong FM point six point minus one. Station seven. Oh, I don't know what's
He was not around when we got back, and still he's not he's not even back. I'm I'm sorry. Yes, yes, dad, come in. Yes, dad. Okay. You're back. Yes, dad. How are you? I'm fine. I'm yours. Charlie went to see the uh, office. Oh, how is he now? Oh, he's fine. I thank God for using the job to save my life. Yeah, it was your life you went to. Thank God. Thank God. I'm fine, Dad. I'm fine. Um, that I, I will join you downstairs. Wait, let me quickly freshen up and dress up. I'll be there. Okay, You have done your worst, no? Are you not satisfied? Is that how you take advantage of women when they are drunk? I never liked you. Because I knew you are not a good person. See, I, I tried to stop you, but you couldn't let me go. And I always do that. It's not in my nature to take advantage of people when they are drunk. Please, I'm sorry. <sighs> How foolish I am. The same thing I deprived the man I love so much. It's the same thing I gave to this foolish, stupid driver. Excuse me. Please, I'm sorry. Do not blame me. But uh, I want you to understand this. And I love you. What's that just here, you see? I know you just believe, I know you just believe. I know you believe, you believe that kind of thing. You know they even, they are new driver. <laughs> Common driver. Person where you just come, come back new, you know they see the way, just the yingom, the chingom, the chingom, or the or, 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 or character. Guys, <laughs> guys, <laughs> very <laughs> stupid. <laughs> he thinks there will ever be a lasting relationship between the each other. You know they see the way, in just the, in just the follow madam back to back. Anywhere where madam go, you just the, the chingom, I'm like, say, like, like, where them boy sugar for grand. Ntambolo, Kongala. That boy is getting you. I just pray that one day a guy will catch them red-handed. Eh? Amen. See, it's small brain. Doesn't even know how many men, I mean rich guys that have come to this place to ask for this girl's hand in marriage. Imagine that. Imagine that. Talk about common driver that they just employed these days. Very, very common. You've seen that even Uber. Yes, sir. You know they take that and just they play with this. They play with this for you. So can't you? What's going on? 
we were just talking about the seasoning relationship between madame and the new driver. The driver. Uh, what's wrong there? Don't they have right to fall in love? You think there's nothing wrong with that? Ha! That's very unrealistic. Oh. That madame in all her glory is in love with a common driver. Driver? Common driver, Ochoma. Ha! As for me, I don't see anything there. <laughs> What is there if a rich man or a rich girl falls in love with a poor person? As far as there's genuity in their love, then I'm fine with it. But sometimes you both should learn to mind your business. If everyone day if you are fine with it, but do you know if the father will be fine with it? Eh? Sometimes I don't know what they work this place. I know you understand. Conquer your grammar. You can you imagine? You think you must be. You knew it. You said your own. Your own must have been. I was fast. So you want to cause me? I've been sending through SMS. Very tiny. Just one stanza. Me, Mumu. If like say you know this, all these people who now you won't just carry confusion of other person thinking I'm I'm far out. Who shall be? You knew it. Who shall be? Me turn that way. Me turn that way. You ampit the smell. Make it fire, you idiot. You don't, you don't, you don't get elderly. You don't get elderly people for being a idiot. You don't, you don't say anything in that costume, in that behavior. And oh, your papa feel you get something like this. Chama, I believe I've noticed something between Fred and I. We are in a relationship. What do you think? I see a sweet and lovely relationship in the beginning. In the end, the end won't be rosy. You have to pray, ma. What do you mean? I don't even understand myself. But that's what my spirit directed me to say. You have to be careful. You scare me. Just go ahead. I'm sorry, sir. Please, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. This is what has been going on. Oh, Fred, I know you will not leave this house alive. I'm sorry, sir. Dad, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. We are sorry, Dad. We are sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad! Say sorry to the devil when you get to hell. Dad! You said it is Fred! So I went to the hospital and the results shows that I'm pregnant. How now? Jesus, you see, now, please, what are you going to do about this? Because your father was not here about this. Show. I don't know, I'm confused too, I don't know. Kalabi, please, please, you have to abort this baby. See, for my life's sake, your father will not spare my life if he finds out about this, I beg. What? Fred! I, I can't do such a thing, I can't just do it, it can be dangerous. Nothing will happen to you. You have to do this if you truly love me. Please. Nothing. See. 
Well, I think that's not much. No more? Yeah. I'll still have many this kind of thing. But don't worry, I'll go and see the doctor and explain the situation to him. Really? Okay. Alright. You'll be fine, right? Are you sure? Sent for him. Fred, yes, go and wash the car and take him into your friend's birthday party. Oh, okay. There's something inside. There's nothing inside my shoe, Joe. There's something in there that if you wear it, you will die. Just don't wear it. Come on, check it yourself. Is there anything inside your shoe? your body and started eating you gradually and slowly till you finally die. But who could want me dead? Who have you offended? No one. I have not offended anyone. But how do you see all these things? And what is speaking to you? Well, I don't know, but maybe you offended. Choma! Choma! What are you doing here? Huh? What's between you and this guy now? Let's go and consume what we are doing. To give me a no. Stay away from this guy. Let's 
so we're running late. Is that? I'm coming, Dad. Ah. Annabelle. Dad. Annabelle. What, what is that? Ah. Annabelle. condition but however she's being taken care of she's responding to treatment but doctor what actually is wrong with my daughter you see mr edward your daughter had the serious complicated abortion no yes that nearly damaged her body no you can't tell me that doctor my daughter is a virgin the last test we conducted on her still confirmed that she is a virgin. So, how can a virgin have an abortion? How? Mr. Edward, you will confirm that from her. Excuse me. You are the one that drives my daughter to everywhere she goes to. Now, tell me, do you know if she's seen anyone, any man or anyone outside? Um, none that I know of, sir. None that you know or know? There is none, sir. about what I will do with the person. Just tell me. Annabelle. Annabelle, you don't want to talk? You are not talking to your father? Both of you stay here with us. Now, tell me the truth. Is there any man that comes here to see my daughter Annabelle? Sir, we've never seen any man come here to look for her. You, Gemma? No one, sir. Gemma, you usually go out with her. Does she see any man outside this house? Not at all, sir. We have never visited any man. Alright. Now, you, 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 you need to monitor her. And if you see anything like that, Tell me. All right. All right. All right. Sir. All right.
Okrika. Gaza. Okrika. Yes, Oga. Come here. I'm sorry. Okay, yes. You are the one that mans this gate. Tell me the truth. Is there any man that has been coming to this house to see Annabelle, my daughter? I mean, any man at all? Okay, I swear to God. I swear to my as he wake with me, I have not seen anyone. I never see. Eh, okay, I know this. I, I remember. It just dropped into my memory. He gave one boy, one yellow idiot boy, where they come find your daughter. But now, once, once, not be regular. Now, just in that you get. Do you know him well? And do you know where he stays? Okay, I. I don't know where this guy is, Dimbok, but I know him very well. If I see him just now, I can give account of him. I know him very well. Okay, what thing happen? They say, anytime this uh, guy come back, whenever he come back, I, me personal, I go catch him, give him, come call you up. Even though they say he never enter, I shall oh, shut up. You are there, and someone, a man, has been coming to see my daughter, and you didn't tell me. Shut up. I said, shut up. Now, if the man comes again, make sure you lock him in here yes, until I come. Yes, sir. Okay. Whenever she in, enter, even though the shadow first come, I will hold the shadow wait for the, the, the main body. I am, will make sure I hold him captive. Who oh, is? Okay, we do just that. Beautiful. That guy where they give me money, I will catch him for my order. He thinks that he has become a super Yes? Who be that? Yes? Who are you? You want to see my mother? Wait, Madam! Madam! Madam, come on. He gave everyone to see you, they forget. I don't know. Who is that? I don't know. He just gave you a beer like people would they kidnap. What is it? David, why are you treating me this way? You know it's not my fault. You're not willing to give me what my desire so much. So that was the reason why I said I'm going to go in half an hour right now. I'm sorry about that. This is just for you. I don't care. Just leave me alone. I have no more choice now. Excuse me, Annabelle. Annabelle. Come here, come find your daughter. Where is he? Let me call him. Where is he? Fine boy! Oh yeah, come back. No, you don't get problem. I will come. Don't be me hiding for here. Who try to do like woman You want to do family You don't know you are. Come, will you come out from that place? Will you come out? Oh. 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 Go so, from make I don't give you slap. So you are the one 
that has caused this family so much tears and anguish? No, oh, no, sir. oh, by the time I finish with you, you will not remember the day you were born. Oh, 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 what have we done unto you? Oh, oh, it's you. Hello? DPO, yes, it's me. Uh -oh. Please, please, I have a criminal right inside my compound now. I want you to send some of your men. Send enough men. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I only came to see Annabelle. I did nothing with her. Annabelle! Annabelle, please come and talk to your dad. I did nothing with her, sir. Please. Hey. I did nothing with her. I did so, nothing with her, sir. It's you. No, sir. I hey. You came to talk to her. Not dad, dad, please. please sir. He's my friend. Please, he did nothing. He's not, he's not a criminal. Please. He did nothing? Yes. And how did we lose? How they... Dad, he's not a criminal. He will go to explain at the police station. Dad, sir. please. You must go to the police station to explain to the law enforcement agents. They must investigate you. Sir, I'm not, I'm not a criminal. Dad, you not, are. He's you not, are. I came to talk Take to him. Take when the police comes, friend. you bring him up. Take him inside. Dad, 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 There until the law enforcement agents arrive. Yes, then sir. you hand him over to them. Hoy, this boy did that. Huh? My only daughter. Yeah, okay, Mr. Okay, God, whatever your name is being called. Why did you set that guy up? And you know very well that that guy, is, that guy is my friend. Eh? Talk to me, why did you set him up? Madam, no, I beg. I, I didn't do it intentionally, but hmm. it wasn't intentional, I beg. Who is this for me? I, I beg. Really? Really? If anything happened to that guy, I will hold you responsible. Nonsense. You didn't do it intentionally. You want to hold me responsible? Eh? Who are going there for a gate? Now you want to there open gate? You want to hold me responsible? Did that guy where they did? Is he responsible? Person where gave behavior like people where they kidnap you, you will hold me responsible. He's not responsible. Where that your boyfriend there in Ambok, then go down baby behavior by now. Now here will be skin punk. I am very sure of that. I can beat to my chest. See me. You don't know me where carry him? Pedras has. <laughs> Idiot. He never see something. Idiot. Thunder fire you. Did they talk nonsense? <laughs> And what is it again? Why are you always making me uncomfortable to answer something? Else? Talk to me now. Okay. 
just going to be like crazy. Oh, Steve. Yeah. You see, Annabelle here, she's my treasure, and I cherish her so much. She must be a very lucky woman. Thank you so much. There is actually something that she brought me here. Something I want to do. Okay. <sighs> Annabelle. Um, oh, Annabelle. Please. Will you marry me? Fred? Yes, Do you really know what you're asking me for? I'm sure. To express my, my gratitude. Please don't say no. Yes, yes. I'll marry you. Thank you. Sis, beautiful. Wow, congratulations on the bill. You're very lucky indeed. This is actually a very huge step. Please, I'm, I'm lucky. Um, Thank um, you so um, much. Do, 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 do you want something else? I need trophy. Dad, guess what? I don't know anything to guess. What is it? Someone has proposed to me. That's nice. But did you tell him your health status? Yes, Dad. He's very much aware of everything. Oh, good. I would want to see if there's a suitor who loves you. Even when he knows that uh, you cannot bear him, should. I want to see him. Where is he? Dad, he's right at the door. Oh, go get him in immediately. from the hospital, Fred has been playing for me. Despite him knowing everything about me, yet he wasn't discouraged. Dad, I knew he truly loved me. You, you have strong reasons to trust him. But I am totally concerned about your emotional and uh, physical security. However, I will see to that. Thank you, Dad. That's all right. Good night. Good night, Dad. Good night, Dad. Where is Kate? Okay, Kate. I want to introduce to you, Fred, uh, my in-law to be. 
And from today, you must accord him the appropriate respect as my in-law to be. You must not refer to him as a driver henceforth. Okay? Yes, right. sir. Yes. Because he is going to be my daughter's husband. All right? Good. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Right. Yes, sir. Good. Yeah. Well, I'm very happy for you. Oh, All right, Dad. I'm right. Annabelle, please. He stopped crying. See, I'm, I'm very, very sorry for the embarrassment my mother gave you there. I'm much more embarrassed that the embarrassment had to come from my mom. But please, I, I wouldn't want your daddy to see you this way. See, what I can assure you is that no matter what happens, I'm standing by you. In fact, our wedding plans commences immediately. But please stop crying, please. Please. Annabelle, I don't want your dad to see you this way. Please. I'm, I'm totally sorry. Alright? Please cheer up. Let me wear your shoe. Everything went fine, sir. It was actually a warm reception. Thank God for everything. Mm -hmm. Annabelle. Dad? Did you like it? Yeah, I like the place. Like, wow, I really had fun. No. Is that? Such a nice place. Uh, uh, sir, I really thank God for Johnny Messis. And I pray God that he will take absolute control of everything. Amen. Yes. And um, how about your wedding plans? Oh, we all need to open up. It's all right. You, you just, just map out your plans and then you make them available to me. Oh, all right. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, now let me get a fresh dog. Uh, all right. I'm calling back. Good girl. Ah, mm. uh, Fred. That's not fresh. Uh, you, oh, no, okay. I'm, I'm you may have something. No, no, think something. Uh, oh, we can go.
sounded so urgent. I hope you don't care. I mean, how could you? How could you have told the secret of Annabelle's health status to my mother? She gave Annabelle and I the worst embarrassment of our lives. See, my God, I thought I could trust you. Hold it. What are you talking about, friend? You don't understand what I'm saying is what? Eh? You don't understand what I'm saying is what? You told my mother about Annabelle's predicament. And honestly, to, to be honest with you, I, I'm, I'm not happy about it. The last time I spoke to your mom was like 10, 8 months ago. Since then, I haven't called her again. I don't really know what you're talking about. 8 to 10 months. So, if you did not tell her, who then did you? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe she heard it from another source or something. Like I didn't tell anybody else. Verify your verify from your wife. I came to inform you about my wedding that is coming up. Please, I want you to be there. I will come to your wedding. As far as it's not that she man that you want to marry. No. I cannot attend a wedding of two men. I will only attend your wedding on one condition. Mama, the woman I want to marry is the woman I brought to you. Are you coming or not? If she is the woman you want to get married to, I will not come. Mama, can't you see we we'll love each other? Can't you see? Hey, love. Love. Love that will not bear any fruit. What do you know about love? Eh? Love that you will regret tomorrow. You will not marry her. You will not marry her. You will not marry a man and call her a woman. You will not marry her. Mama, you say you won't come for my wedding. I will not come. If she's the woman you want to marry, I will not come. Mama, are you saying you won't come for my wedding? If she's the one, count me out. I will not come. So you will not come for the wedding of your only son? I will not come. My son wants to marry a man. I will not come. Not I don't come. want you to marry a man. I will not come. But you will not come for the wedding of your a only son? A dry wood for a wife. I will not come. You are not going to marry her. You are, are not going to marry that man you call the wife. My you are wedding. not going to marry her. My wedding, my wedding must go on. It must go on. We shall see. There is no problem. You want to kill me before my time. But it may not work. Here by this time, I, I hope all is well. All is well, and there is no problem at all. No. Okay. Please, there is a favor I want to ask you to do for me. Yes. Mm. What could that be? Uh, please, I want you to come and stand in for me as my mother at my wedding. Stand in as your mother? And how? Why? What happened to your mother? See, my mother has refused to come. She said she will not come for my wedding. 
and there is no other person I can actually ask to do this thing for me except you. Please, Auntie. This is a sum of um, 100,000 naira. Please manage it. You don't have to give me money. You don't have to give me this money for me to be at your wedding. At least from my heart. It's not because I want to come. I'm like a mother to you. What your mother is doing is no good. Eh? How can she refuse to be at your wedding? Her son's wedding for that matter. Ah. It's no, alright. It's okay. I'll, I'll take care of that. But now it's, my wedding is just the only thing that is watching me now. You don't, have to, you don't have to be bothered. You don't have to bother yourself. You're like a son to me. I'm like your mother. Eh? I'll, I'll, don't, don't worry. I will try my best to be there. In fact, I will be there. Thank you so much. Okay. You don't have Thank to worry. You. Um, I will just um, be on my way. I want to see one of my friends. It's alright. It's alright. Go well, my son. Please. I will be there. You don't have to worry. Eh? Just go and get yourself ready. I will be there. Alright. Thank all right, you. Bye-bye. Go well. Do you know that Fred, my son, came back home to invite me to his wedding? Uh -huh. My goodness. Mm -hmm. To his wedding, to that lady that does not have a womb. God forbid. Ah. Would you for job? Which mother would attend such wedding? Oh. A wedding between a man and a man. Oh. Because that lady is a man. A lady that does not have a womb, that cannot be a child. She's a man. She's a man. I gave birth to him so that I can carry my grandchildren. Do you know the most painful part of it is that despite all my warning, all my threats, Fred went ahead with his plans to marry that empty vessel, that comb comb that nothing is inside. Mm -hmm. If we from mm -hmm. eh? Why is it that you know give it? have refused to listen to advice of their parents. I told him that I will not attend the wedding. Eh? Which mother would attend such wedding? And he forgot that now. If you can you know what are you going to know? Oh! I told him that I will not attend the wedding. I will not attend. Hey! My no. sister, it's only God. It's only this heavenly God that will help me. Oh, God, help me. Eh? It's God that will help me in this situation. My only child. My only child. How do you have to worry about yourself? You don't have to worry about yourself. I will make sure that Fred doesn't get into that. You know he listens to me. Please, I'll talk to him. I will talk to him. Please. Talk to him to see reasons. It's okay. You don't have to worry yourself. It's okay. Can we get back to talk to him? Let me go. Bye bye. What's delaying you now? Who told me this thing will be ready this week? See, uh, my wedding is tomorrow. I don't want any stories. Okay, what about the cooling van? Uh, come to the house now so we can load these drinks. I'm at home, I'm at home, I beg. Hey, where are you from? Just, uh, come. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you paying me back with wickedness? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Tomorrow you are getting married to another woman. After all I've done for you. Fred, you know I love you so much. You've forgotten so soon how much I sacrificed to make and keep you happy. Hey, 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 hold it there. Hold your emotions now. 
See, we are adults. I don't, I don't want us acting like kids there. And I don't need to remind you what my wife would do if she comes out there and, and, and find us in this compromising situation. For your own good, I think you should go back to your home. Say it. <laughs> Congratulations once again. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You are the latest wedded couple in town. <laughs> and I'm so happy for you. Fred. Sir. Now I have a family. Yes, um, I have bought a house for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Dad. Thank you so much. You will like it. It's palacious. Wow. When you see it, you will know. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank it. you. So, anytime from now, you will move into your own house and leave as husband and wife. I've also provided an SUV for you to add to your. <laughs> thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like it. It's a thank, you. thank you so much. Ah, Jesus. Thank you, Dad. It's thank a you. Mercedes. You will like it. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes, yeah, so, Fred. Sir. Take care of your wife. I will, sir. Annabelle. Dad. You love your husband. I'm the lawyer. Okay. Yes, you are all aware that things are changing for the better. There has been elevations and more elevations will take place. Some positions will change and there will be additional positions. Meanwhile, our driver and gardener, Fred, has exceeded that position of driver and gardener. He has moved to another level because he has become a bona fide member of this noble family. That's my in-law. I want you to accord him the respect that he deserves. I will not tolerate any insubordination to his person. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Good. Um, today, they will be leaving this place to go to their own place. We have to employ another driver and uh, gardener. Kit will be deployed to them. Dad, um, Choma is dead. Please. Right, I would have uh, loved uh, Choma to remain here with me. Nevertheless, since you desire her, she will be deployed to you. Thanks, Dad. All staff remain subject and answerable to me. Okay? Okay, wait, no this. I want to suggest, suggestion. The new company where they want back go, say they get, get make you deploy me, make the workers get money there so you can employ new get money for this company. Okay, well, shut up. Shut up. And go to your What's all that? All right, you are dismissed. Oh, thank thank you, sir.
Mama. What are you doing here? Mama, how can you be asking me what I'm doing in my father's house? Your father's what? Eh, Fred! So you went ahead to marry that empty vessel? Eh? Despite all my warnings. Eh, Fred! What did she give to you? Eh? Mind you, you dare not bring her into this compound. As for you, I consider I never had a son like you. And you don't have a mother. Mama. You never had a mother. Mama, how can you say such a thing? Don't mama me. Don't mama me. I don't have a son. I don't like what you're doing. I don't like it. Come back here. Collect this thing from me. Take this thing from me, Fred. I will beat you, Fred. I will beat you. Carry this thing from me. I don't need them. Carry it. Fred, collect it. I told you I don't have the sun anymore. Collect it from me. Collect it. Go. I don't want to see it. Go. I don't have the sun. Any like that, the Christian mother will come and bury me. I'm very happy for your family to the new house. I heard the place is very big. See? Now you're going to leave us behind. Mm -hmm. She now miss you. I'll miss the moments we shared, the fun, everything. We all have to adapt to the changes. That's what nature gives to us. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you. I'll miss you very much. <laughs> I miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay.
as we tried our best. Hmm? Okay. But how is he now? Doctor, talk to us now. I'm sorry. He couldn't make it. Don't mama fret me. I'm just coming from your house. They say you went to this house. What happened? Can you film me? So you went behind me to attend my son's wedding, which both of us condemned. Eh, Mama Onyeka, I thought you are a friend. I don't know that you are a snake. It's not my fault. You know, your son came to me. He was pleading like a baby. And uh, I had to, as a kind person that I am now, I want you to be your mama. Yes, I had to attend the wedding. Mm -hmm. Yes, we both condemned the decision. But I did not condemn you as a person. Mm -hmm. and yes, and that was why I attended the wedding. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> you needed to have been there. It was a fantastic one. Don't ever cross my path. Do you hear me? If it hasn't gotten to that, Yes, see friends. Happy so. Rogo Longer, longer. You are a very greedy it woman. Has not you are a greedy woman. It wasn't my fault anyway. Your son, you refused to attend the wedding. And your son came to me. He pleaded yeah. with me. And I had to attend. You now. will vomit everything that my son gave to me. For what? Please, today. Please, today. I want to... Here, I see here. Today, you will vomit everything. No, no one. You will vomit it. If not, I will beat you here. I'm and not... I will kill you here. I'm not feeling fine. You I know you're not feeling fine. You like bribe. You like bribe. You the only thing that my son gave to you, you will vomit it today. You will vomit it today, oh. Mama Nyaka, you will vomit it. Mama Nyaka, you will kill me. You will kill me. Here, what is here? Here, what is here? Everything. Is it my boat money? Go to cloth. Everything. What are you doing there? Why are you crying? Shoma! <laughs> okay, is gone! Okay, is gone! Hey! Such a good man with a good heart, eh? I don't know why, why good people like this don't last in this world. Okay. May your kind, good and gentle so rest in perfect peace. Why did you kill him? What are you saying? Listen, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. If you don't want everybody to know. So just answer my question. Why did you kill Oga? I, I did. But it was not my target. Then who was your target? <laughs> I wanted Fred dead. Why would you want Fred dead? I met Fred. I would like to see. Very nice. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I'm very happy I met a kind-hearted woman like you. But if you will help me, I want to stay back in the city and work. I want to make my poor mother proud. I am very hard working. I don't want to go back to the village. Okay. So, how do I help you? Accommodation. If you can actually allow me to stay here with you. As soon as I get a good job, I'll, I'll move out. <laughs> that will not be possible. I mean, we can't live together now. Besides, I have a boyfriend who paid for this accommodation and he comes here all the time. Uh, no problem. You can actually tell him I'm your brother that just came from the village. Baby, how are you? Hey, I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Yeah, good afternoon. Who is he? Um, baby, he's my elder brother, Fred. Okay. He came in yesterday from the village. Nice meeting. Nice same here. How is everything? Fine, thank you. Um, Fred, this is my baby, the love of my life. His name is Victor. Oh, really? I, I can see. I guess he's my supposed brother in law, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, you can say that again. Nice to meet you. Same here. How are the people? Uh, you see, we are trying. We are fine. One of these days, you come to the village and so we'll see come, you properly. I'll you know, come. <laughs> as in law. I'm sorry for what happened yesterday. I promise it won't happen again. That's what you say all the time. After having me almost on Saturday night. <coughs> now you're gradually still in my hands. See, I honestly wish I could still talk to myself. I mean, not the new kid. No, you're a woman with a heart of gold. I wish you could be my man. I've fallen for you too. But I just wish Victor was never in the picture. You don't need him. See, we, we can actually be managing for whatever you earn. And I believe very soon I'm going to get a good job. See what you do. Just look for a way to cause misunderstanding between both of you so he can live for good. Actually, get jealous whenever he comes here. I'm going to kiss him. Jealousy. Jealousy. Um, okay. I'll think about it. Just cause problem, let him go. Leave my house, Joe. Uh -uh. I told you I'm tired. Leave. Hey, what's this? I told you she's just an, an other friend to me. Joe, she's my friend now. Stop this, baby. I can swear to this. Just a friend. Just a friend that calls you morning and night. Please, just go and continue with her. I beg. I'm tired of this relationship. Baby, Leave. You, you, you just have to stop this. You have to stop this. Is that why you're shutting, uh, shut, is that why you're shutting me off the house I paid? Please don't pay for me again, no. I can take care of myself now. Yeah. Fred, but, but, but you, are, you, are, you are here listening to all these things she's saying. Talk to her now. I love her. I'm innocent of all these allegations now. Boy, you just heard her say she's no longer interested in the relationship. Uh, go now. You have to talk to her. You're my guy. Talk to her now. Uh, Please now. I'm your guy. And she's my sister. Go out. Talk to her. Find a way and talk to her. Huh? Maybe I should go. Go now. Ah. Uh, want to spoil something go. again? Go. I'll talk to her later. Fred. I'm your man. I'll talk to her. Take this um, for your keep and to take class around the Oh, thank you so much. I'm grateful. What could I have done without you? It's okay. Um, let me go back for my organic daughter oh. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right then. I said, get out now! I don't want to see you here. I'm very sorry, sir. Please, it's the handiwork of the devil, sir. I. Baby, it's for you. There is no problem. Um, there's a vacancy in my place of work. 
for the position of uh, the driver. Now, guy just sacked his driver, and he plays his drivers very well. But are you serious? I don't know if you can drive. Well. Of course not. Why not? See, in my hometown, I am one of the most influential drivers there. I told you now. <laughs> okay. In that case, you have to go and apply right away. Mm. Most importantly, you don't know me. I don't know you. We don't know each other. Not talk of living together. I know why I'm saying this to avoid unnecessary suspicions. I think you're right. So I'll just bath. Hey, go on. Bath and Remember, you don't know me. Do I know you? I don't know you. Fred betrayed me. After all I did for him. Listen. You have to forgive Fred. I know what he did was wrong and it is an act of wickedness, but you just have to forgive him. I see a better man coming your way soon. A man that will give you love, peace and care that your heart desires. But you just have to forgive Fred and let him go. I am not interested. Fred will pay dearly for my tears. I will let him go. So, did you try to confront him? Maybe by asking him why he's acting the way he's doing? I did. I confronted him the day before the wedding. Um, welcome, Barrister. Thanks. How is work? Oh, work is fine. Thank you, Ivy. Fine. Welcome. Well, I'm here to make a formal presentation of a new statement of Mr. Edward Adams. We stipulate that uh, after three months of his death, the uh, will, which is a uh, which he signed as a legal tender should be read to the, to the household. The will states as follows. All my fixed assets, which includes houses, both in the rural and urban communities. All my business edifice, which includes my super stores, shopping malls, sales shops, all medium scale industry, the bakery, and my shuttle and transport buses and trucks and all my liquid assets, which includes cash at home, all my bank accounts, shares, bonds, treasury bills, be given to my only child, another Adams. All other litigation remains illegal and does not represent the real mind of the statutory owner of this will, signed Mr. Edward Adams. Thank you, Barrister. Hmm? We'll be right back. Yes, we have. Baby, why is your face like that? Are we no more together anymore? <sighs> Who belongs to me also belongs to you. <sighs> okay, fine. If we go back there right now, I'll tell the barrister to change the name of the, the name on the property to yours. Are you okay? Are you fine now? Okay. Let's go. 
了吧。Yeah. Fred is my husband. I would like him to be in control of everything. I want you to change the name or the asset to his name. However, uh, I'll give you seven working days before we can effect any change. We cannot sit out that Okay. Thank you, Barista. Thanks. Okay, Doris, I'm waiting for you. Waiting for your feedback. Oh. Thank you. Alright, so you're welcome. Thank you. Alright, take care. Alright. Are you happy now? Are you happy? I always wanted to be happy. Kids, have you not done enough hard work? Shuma, stay out of this. I will not stay out of it. I know you may have your reasons, but does it warrant doing all this? Have you not done enough? Learn to pull yourself together, pick up your broken pieces and start a life. If you don't, the law will catch up with you and you will end the rest of your life behind bars. The one you did today, if you were caught, would you have time to plan another? Stop here, kids. You've done enough. Chioma, I warn you for the last time. Stop monitoring me. Stay out of my way. Stay out of my way. Kids. How did you say to, to, to my mom? Is that why you want to break my hand? Uh, I sent him to her. Uh, do you have any problem with that? You did what? You sent this to her. How did you get the result and how did you even locate my village? Have you forgotten I have your mother's contact? Of course I called her and she gave me the directions. How did you get this result? <laughs> what kind of stupid question is that? See, let me tell you. I know this house better than you do. Okay. Kate, you know what? I think I've had enough of your nonsense in this house. It's time for you to go. I said that. It's time for her to go. You come and push me out now. Jesus. This is just the beginning. You actually think you'll mess with me and go scot free. <laughs> Fred, you have something else coming. Hmm? You just you, you've just activated the demon in me and I'll show you. By the time I'm through with you, you regret ever coming to this town. Nonsense. Work like. Why? I don't like it. 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 I Um, this will pay off. Uh, as you can see, my dad is late and we can no longer afford this service of two So we have to stop work after today. Okay. 
But nothing. She just gave me a good reason for her decision now. What's the point for again? It's hard. And he just told her why we don't need her anymore. Go now. She even gave you a huge amount of money. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, welcome, okay, thanks. There is something I want to listen to. I'm sure you like it. So, can I listen to it now? Um, I'll get right back. Selfish ones. I don't know if it's... You like it, right? Very nice. Very nice. Um, so yeah, um... Actually, pressed. I can use the press. Oh, really? I'll, I'll show you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank What is it you want to play to my wife before you leave? I don't think you want to hear it. I want to hear it. Can you remember what you told me the first day I accosted you? When you started developing this fake feelings for my mother? So, can you still remember now? No, I don't remember the past. Okay. this nonsense going on between you and Madam Annabelle? Madam Annabelle? I don't understand. You're just a bloody liar and a pretender. Don't you know it's so obvious that you are both in love with each other? <laughs> in love? God forbid. I mean, how could you even think I'll, 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 I'll feel anything for, for a woman like that? Oh, because you feel because her father is now wealthy, she will be exactly what I want. See, I know what I'm doing. I want to get this girl to fall in love with then I'll use that as an opportunity to exploit her and her father. So if eventually her father dies, I'll get her to change all the names in the documents to my name. Eh? So that you and I can take the money and run away to a party where we we'll enjoy life to the fullest. I don't know what I'm doing now. Mm. Are you very sure of what you just said? Wait. Just sit down and watch me do this. I don't know what I'm doing. I have all these things planned out. See, I don't want them to... See, you are Fred. Not there. Uh, Fred. Okay. If I'm jealous, too. So, don't you hire your friends. You are a devil. Because only devilish people keep evil records. And you are a saint. Because only at least saints like you forget kind gestures. I really cannot wait to play this for your loving wife. She needs to know the kind of husband she's married to, to know her husband's plans. So tell me, now that you have succeeded in killing the man, what's your next plan? Kit, why are you doing this? What do you want from me? Good question. I want Choma sacked while I remain. You want Choma sacked? Of course, you know that is not possible. Hmm. In that case, your wife needs to listen to this before I leave. You are a saint. A saint. My love, can I ask you for a favor? Um, yes, of course, go ahead. I feel we should retain Kate and let Choma leave instead. That is not possible. Why did you change your decision all of a sudden? 
Oh my darling, see, I feel so much for Kate. From all indications, she seems she's feeling so minimal with this job. And it won't be nice if we leave her without any source of income. What will happen to those people that she takes care of? So I'm actually suggesting maybe Chuma will leave instead. No. I'm not really sure if you even understand what you're saying. Chuma is more useful in this house more than Kate. And my father will not even be happy in his grave if I send you my way. See, please. I can't please you to displease my dad. No. I've not asked you for a favor before. Uh, please do this for me. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. And that is my... my that is fine now. Please. I, I can't do it. Please. Can't you go? I think you need to think about it. I don't need to think about anything. I have made up my mind. Kate should go. Please, just respect my decision this time around. Please. Yes, Kate should go. Baby, we are winning. I told you. Wow. I told you. Wow, natural. See this guy, this guy is almost good or something. Right. Madam. I'm ready to leave. Oh, that's good. I want to thank you so much for your love and care throughout the period I worked for you. You're welcome. And uh, what about what you? Um, Kate, you, you can go inside and drop your things and continue your work. My wife and I said that you will take your job. All right? Um, Choma! Choma! Okay. Please come. <laughs> what's, what's, what's going on? What are you saying? Okay, come. Um, yes, I did. See, you, you go inside now and pack your things. You leave today because my wife and I can no longer afford the services of two maids. Alright? Oh, what are you talking about? I, she can't just leave. Uh, Kate, huh? uh, you know what? Uh, you give her that envelope that was given to you in the morning, alright? Chama, please go inside and pack your things. You're leaving today. not for my job, but for the sorrow that will befall you. What, what are you doing here by the time of the day? Because I need to discuss something with you. You want to talk something with me? Yes. It wouldn't be that. What, what, what is it? Africa, I remember you told me how you were frustrated on the road. Then our late Oga picked you up and offered you this job. He even paid you more than what gatekeepers collected. You also told me that he has been more than a good man to you. He is a very good person. Very, very good. In that case, we must reward him both in life and in death. But how will one take do that one now? Eh? What, what do we do? 
the wolves roving around this house, and people like you and I, who benefited from his kind gestures when he was still alive, would not let their plot succeed. We must do something to stop them. What do we want to do now? Which people be the wolves? Can you tell me the people, make her know them in person, and make her know my own role to play? The, the fight, wolves baby. are people that you and I know. Hello. And your role is to get me inside that house and play along with me. You have to take you inside the house. Okay, you know what thing will happen now? Um, um, this thing I want to do now, I want to take risky. But I will do it just for you. You get? I go carry you go inside because nobody don't come now. You, you understand? We, we, we need to make her just go hide you now. Sharp, sharp. Succeeded in sending Chum out of this house so you can continue with your de deadly plot. Come on, no more evil plans now. At least not now that everything is going well as planned. According to your voice, your body is gone. Yeah? The man is gone, the will and document is in your possession, so I just want to have you all to yourself. I, I don't know all what you're talking about. <laughs> I know you look more handsome when you put it on. Hmm? Come on, I just will come and give you a long abandoned with your don't have time. We'll have to sell these properties and get the final properties in our name. Okay? See, tomorrow we'll go to see the two houses on Airport Road. How did you get to know about these properties? <laughs> Please stop asking me stupid questions and kill me with your mother down. Mother down, okay? <laughs> oh, come on! You're coming on just now. Jesus, I'm tired. Tired? Yes. Uh -uh. Like that looks like a horse to you. I have a wife and I'm doing extra, extra one. You, you, you want another one? <laughs> like I care. <laughs> By the time we sell the properties, we'll kill you and marry a more handsome and diligent man. Which you'll see there for me to find out. For who? How?
This can be true. It's true. That's the voice of your husband before you got married. And that was his motive for marrying you. He loves me so much, I can't believe it. Chuba, where did you get this from? I, I can't believe this. You really can't do this to me. Who has this voice? How? Can I see those documents you collected from the barrister? I want to check some things. What is it you want to check? I just want to check some things, that's all. That's why I check up for some things. Oh, you can't have it. Why are you sounding like this? I said I want to check and confirm some things. Is, 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 is it not my father's properties again? And don't forget I'm the man of this house. I decide what happens as far as the documents and properties are concerned. Baby, why are you sounding this way? I was the one that decided to change the names of the document to yours. So what? Like, and so what? See, if you don't have any other thing to say, I'm very busy here. There's something I want to tell you. What is it? See, I don't have power for anything. It's not that thing, Joe. It is lazy. See, I suspect that Choma is somewhere in this house. Choma in this house? Mm -hmm. How possible is that? I don't know. I have this strong feeling that she's in this house. I think we should search for her. Get your stress in me. I feel understand that this is not stress. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just search for her. 
Why did you not give me fake document? I never knew you're a gold digger. What Annabelle said. Annabelle is just carried away by her emotions. I perceive some foul play in what is going on. I don't trust that man. If he's really sincere, then he can control everything without wanting change of ownership. Sir, remember you are her father's personal lawyer. And you owe her a duty to guide and protect his will. That's why the father entrusted you with this will. Please, do not do it. Listen, this is what you will help us do. Keep the original papers, then maybe you can come up with something. Something that is unauthorized and illegal. So, by so doing, he will believe he has the valid papers of properties. Please. You have such a smart idea. It's very thoughtful of you. There could really be a foul play. Yes. Somewhere. And uh, the fact is, a, it's a very, very bright idea of yours. Well, in any case, I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I'll see you. 
Professor. All thanks to Chioma, who uh, uh, reminded me that gold diggers like you still exist. Mr. Fred, you have to refund all the money that I paid for the purchase of that house now, or? You, you just have to give me some little time. I'll, I'll give you the back. What is just a state? What is really going on here? I'll arrest this lady here, Kate, for the murder of Chief Edward. Barrister, huh? what are you talking about? What are you saying? Kate here is responsible for the death of your father. Choma told me everything. She was not intentional. She, she wasn't my target. Fred was my target. What? Okay. What? What? Officer! Arrest him! Take them away. Mr. Fred, I am not going to arrest. Let's go. Uh, officer, we are talking about somebody that just killed somebody. That's a more grievous offense now. Let us analyze this thing very properly. not intentional. You wanted to you are, the, you are the court of all this. So you wanted to kill you. Is it not your greed? Is it not your greed? No, it's not for your greed now. I will kill you that set. <laughs> um, I beg you to not do this demo. Now that man may pay my salary. No go beat your hand break. Make it not be inside signature when you don't go take money for them. You can break his leg, but just leave the hand. Kate, you can destroy her future. I don't know. You can do it without.